It's not that I don't want you here. Yeah, yeah. It's something about the way you stare into my eyes. I know that I don't make things clear. y'all can see me um, it is a uh, Monday morning is it Monday no it's Wednesday I'm tripping welcome back to another day welcome if you don't know who I am I'm Lashante and like comment and subscribe y'all I just left a coffee shop I got done editing and I hope and pray I ain't got no ticket okay if I ain't got no ticket, y'all gotta subscribe. I ain't got a ticket. I ain't got a ticket. I ain't got a ticket. Ooh, I ain't got a ticket. And y'all gotta like, comment, subscribe because I ain't got no ticket, bitch. I hope not. And the meter's expired. Yeah. See? God don't play about me. One thing about God is he don't play about me. Anyways, y'all. left eating breakfast I got coffee I got some food the food was nasty it was an omelet and the shit is nasty I'm just I'm just gonna say it, it was nasty I could have made it at home y'all I just got done well I'm not done editing but I was editing I came out I decided to come out and edit and yeah, I got my little hat on. I had my editing glasses on. I look like how who do I look like? Child D's ch all right, y'all. Okay, all right, let's go. So let me get like better lighting. So basically I was sitting inside of the cafe and I was editing. This is like the same area, the La Mesa area where I was last a couple of vlogs ago and y'all see me at the coffee shop and I came to another spot um, a couple spots down and I went to go edit there because it wasn't as loud and I realized I told you I cannot edit when it's really really loud if it's really really loud I cannot concentrate and I've been putting a lot more effort into my vlogs if you guys can tell with the editing difference um let me know in the comments because i'm trying to step my editing game up one thing i love about doing content creation is i love the editing process it is tedious but i just love it and i love the outcome and i love doing it so let me know if y'all notice any difference with you know my editing what else i want to go to the library because i'm not done editing but the library doesn't open till noon and i kind of wanted to get out of the coffee shop because they probably was like, bitch, you've been in here too long. It's 10.50. Um, it's December 27th. It's a Wednesday. It's going to be the new year. Like, how are y'all feeling? I think I asked y'all this before. But, like, it's about to be a new year. And I'm going into this new year. I haven't told y'all this. But I cut off all the niggas I was dealing with. And I don't even know if I should be telling y'all this or if I, I should just be shit, some shit I should just keep to myself. But you know what? I'm being transparent with y'all. And this is my life as a single as a single person. 
And, you know, this is some of the shit what I go, I go through. So I cut off all the niggas I was dealing with. So I'm going into this new year. It's weird. Like, it's just, I don't know, y'all. It's, it's just weird. They're, I don't see them in my future. They, I, 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 I don't see them in my future. So it's time to get a new team for 2024. We got, we gotta, go, we gotta get a new team because the old team is, 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 is no longer existing. Um, and things I'm trying to learn and do is not settle, you know, because you can easily just settle for whatever. And sometimes we don't realize we are worth more. And then you just, you look back and you're like, damn, why the fuck did I settle for that? Like, I'm such a bad bitch. Why did I do that? You know, and don't let nobody tell you you're not no bad bitch because you are. So with that said, with that being said, we're not settling in 2024. We're going to get everything we want. I don't know why my head is pounding. It's this side of my head. And I feel like I got a headache, but I don't know why. Anyways, hi, y'all. Your girl's back home. Um, I have an itch to move stuff around my room. I have this itch like every six months, literally every six months I want change. I want to switch stuff around, either my kid's room, my room, or the living room. I I just, I know it's just not me because I watch other YouTubers and everybody, it's like you always get that itch to like make moves. So with that being said, I want to move my shelves to this side of the wall. So right now, let me just show y'all. Hold on. So when you come in my room, you see the shelves on this side, right? My vanity's here. Bed is there. This is the other side of the room, okay? Okay, boom. Y'all got that idea. Y'all got that idea, right? Now, I want to move the shelves on this other side. I think the problem that is gonna that I'm gonna have is that I will not have enough room on that side. But we gonna see. It's is we 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 gonna see. That's one thing about me. Um yeah. Yeah, let's 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 see. So I'ma set y'all down and then I'm gonna I'm gonna show y'all what it's giving. Let me we gonna see. She a baddie, she's showing her candy. She's shaking like jelly. Honey bears is Chanelli. But I'm still shaking ass in a deli. But my bitch got a daddy. He like him a buddy. He went the rock, but I just with the freddy. And I'm back in his partner on teddy. Put me that view while he eating my honey. You know niggas love bitches with money. I get a lot. So now I have a bunch of empty spaces on this wall. Now, what I want to do is get a mirror right here. So I'm going to get a big mirror right here. And I think I'm going to move over this lighting. Let me see. Let me set y'all here. All right. So let's bring this. Okay, let's get the broom. Hold on. So, I think I like it. The only thing is, it's so it's so small in here. It's just really, really small. Um, when I first moved into my apartment, I gave the kids the master bedroom. So, the kids' room is bigger than mine. And the only person that sleeps in there is Nevaeh. So I feel like I should have just gave them the smaller room. 
because technically I share a room with Trinity because she's always in here sleeping with me. So, but I am not going to take all of this and switch rooms. I'm not doing that. So I'm just going to get the small room. Is this what it is? So, um, but yeah, it's, it's small in here, but it's, it works for me, you know? Um, but I like it. Yeah, I think I like it. And then I'm gonna get a big mirror. I'm gonna get a big mirror right here, period. I'm excited for that mirror. I'm really am. Like, we're gonna do my little outfits over there or whatever. So I'm excited about the mirror. All right. I have to clean in here, but I'm gonna do that. I gotta run to the library so I can upload a vlog for y'all. Yeah, so that's what it's looking like so far, y'all. I'm, I'm gonna come back to it later on, but not right now. Okay, <laughs> this part of the vlog is strictly for my girl, China. One of my supporters, um, she uh, left a comment and was like, girl, Tay, I wanna see what you put in that bag. Cause all that stuff you was putting in that bag, girl, we gotta see what's what's in my bag. So I said no problem because cause we go, I'm gonna show you what's in the bag. So um, shout out to you, China, for always commenting. It makes it makes a world of a difference for me. I be feeling like people be watching me when people comment. So thank you for always commenting. But girl, I'm gonna show you. So I'm finna get ready to pack up. So let's, 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 let's go through it. Let me quit. In my bag my coach bag right all right so this is some trash receipts trash all right so what i have in here now is my wallet i have a wallet in here um this is a case to my glasses and this is the top to my camera and then i have in the pouch i have two lip glosses this is an Amy Cole. I swear by this one. This is Bath and Body Works. I swear by this one. So I keep that in here. All right. So next, what we're going to put in here is my phone. Next, this is why I got it. Laptop. This big enough. Y'all see how it's big enough for the laptop? So I love putting my laptop in here. So when I got to take it to go, I just throw the laptop in here right and then what else next i put in here is let me show y'all so i put this connector that goes to my computer i need this i need this so i put that in there too then i get the charger so i take the charger and i put it in there Okay, and then if I need a mount, a, a mount, I put it in there. This is again the top to y'all. My computer glasses, I put those in there. Um, put it back in the case. And yeah, throw that in there. That's it. Well. I also put you guys inside of this bag. So whenever I'm getting ready to go, I'll throw y'all in there. When well, I throw, I'll put y'all in there. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's all. That's what I put in that bag, girl. That's all the stuff in there. So I hope you enjoyed that. And when I'm not taking my computer, I really don't need the bag because the bag is huge. And if it's not my computer stuff, then I really don't need the bag. But when I have my computer days, that's what's in the bag. Okay, so um, I'm about to get ready to head to the library, upload this video, and I'll see y'all later. All right, y'all. I'm done at the library. I just uploaded a video. And yeah, I'm about to go get my baby from school. But this is what I'm wearing today. If y'all was interested. This is what I got going on. Good afternoon, y'all. It is, it's actually 
12 o'clock on the dot. I'm right on point. Anyways, it is the next day. Uh, welcome back to another day. Today is, what's today? Thursday? And we got some packages. Amazon, of course. Um, I've been home. I dropped Trinity off at school this morning. I've been home all morning just cleaning up. I feel like every time I drop her off at school, I come home and it's, it's time to clean. But anyways, I've been cleaning. I made some breakfast while well, I warmed up the omelet I had the other day at that, um, in, yes in yesterday's. Y'all seen me yesterday go to that little restaurant and I got the omelet. The omelet's not all that. I feel like I could have made it at home, but we paid our money so we don't eat it. Um, yeah. But I want to come open this packet up with y'all because there's something really special in here I want to show y'all. Especially leading into 2024, it's something very special to me. So, mm, that's the package. Man, man. Okay. First thing I got was these under eye patch. Um, I don't even know what they're called. The under eye powder puffs. That's what they're called. I came in a pack of. Does it tell me? No, I don't know. So let me show y'all what the powder puff looks like. I was seeing the girls on TikTok, they say if you do your makeup, your under eye with these, it makes the flawless the application so much better than the beauty blender. So you don't have to go run and try it because you know we love a good makeup. So this is what they look like. They're little pouches. Like you just take your finger, your little two fingers, and you just dab under here with the powder. So yeah, I got them off Amazon, y'all see. And it's probably like 10 in here. Yeah. So I'm excited about those. Next thing I got, which I said, I really wanted to come on here and show y'all, which I'm really, really excited about 2024, is this is what I picked up. Um, so I picked up a new Bible. This is the King James Version. Um, I had a Bible, but I don't know what happened to my Bible. And then um, I kept saying I need to buy me a new Bible, buy me a new Bible. And then finally, I was like, okay, let me go and get me a new Bible. Because, you know, you could get the Bible off your phone. But I'm like, I don't want the Bible on my phone. I want the actual physical copy. So, yeah, that's what I did. And I think I paid like $14, $15 for this Bible off of Amazon. And I was just looking for something that could be very, <clears throat> like, customizable and meaningful to me um so i got this brown one it looks like this it just reminds me of like old school bibles when you were going to church and i also liked it because it has um it smells so new it has this little thing when you like leave off somewhere you can just put it in there my last bible did not have this so i'm so excited about it and i like that it has you can kind of see on the side. I don't know if y'all could tell, but what chapters, what John, Jacob, Luke, Mark, the name of the books here. So it's kind of easier when you're going through your Bible, you can be like, okay, John, and you can go to like the book of John, Psalms, and things like that. So I thought this was really nice. And is this the New Testament in here too, or is it just the Old? Because it's the difference between the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament is more about Jesus and him being here on earth. The New Testament is not. Um, and in the New Testament, that's when things try, started to change. Um, yeah. So that's why they say read the New Testament because the New Testament, that's when things slightly started to change. And then it has the map. The Mediterranean Sea, the Exodus from Egypt. Yeah. So 
So I'm excited about this. I think this is just the Old Testament, which I didn't even realize. The names of canonical order, Old Testament, the book of the... Oh, it does have the New Testament, the book of the New Testament. So I plan on reading this at least once a night. That's the plan. Now, <laughs> that's the plan. Um, at least get my time in on Sundays for sure. But that's what I really am excited about. Um, so for 2024, when it comes to 2024, y'all, I have so much on my mind when it comes to 2024 and, um, like the direction of my life. And sometimes it could be overwhelming because it's just, you get overwhelmed with everything that you want and everything that you see yourself. And if it's not here, here and right now, sometimes you're just like frustrated and you're just like, damn. But then I try to realize like, it's a process. Nothing comes easy. This is my process. This is my journey. And be patient with yourself, Tay. Like it's just, and even you, like be patient. You know, things may not come when you want it, but they say God is always on time and that's absolutely true. So I just want to continue to grow my faith and grow my knowledge and my wisdom and um, with God, um, you know, and be the person I'm meant to be, be the person um, he put me on this planet to be. So I just want to get more into that 2024. I do plan on getting back in a gym, y'all. If you watched my vlogs last year, in the beginning of the last year, I was in the gym. <laughs> I was going to the gym at least three times a week and then that fell off. Which I'm not mad about. Like, you fell off, you get back on track. You fell off, you get back on track. Um, so it is what it is. And you know how they the memes be like, <laughs> January 1st, it's going to be 10 times more people in the gym than through all year. And that's and that's going to be that's gonna be me. That is absolutely going to be me. But I don't feel bad about it at all because, you know, I try to be not too hard on myself, y'all. But sometimes I can be. And it is what it is. But um, what do y'all have planned for New Year's? I don't know. I don't know. I want to go see fireworks. I want to go out, have a drink. But we'll see. Anyways, I'm going to get started on my shower and stuff and just relax. And I've got this puzzle for Christmas that I want to do so bad. But it's a thousand pieces, y'all. A thousand pieces. And when I tell you this puzzle looks hard as hell... It looks hard to tell, but one thing about me, I like hard. <laughs> Anyways, um, all right, y'all. I'll see y'all later. Hey, y'all. It's on, time on later. Flights on flights. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I need to wash my hair. I'm gonna just throw this little hat on, though. Y'all know how I do. Mm. You put your sister in here. Oh, who did that to your shirt? It has to be your sister. Nah. Look at the teacher to her sister's shirt. <laughs> Who the fuck did that? Girl, yeah. what am I going to do with these girls? Mm -mm. Do I want to wear this hat or a different hat? Let me see. Hold on. Y'all. So I'm about to get ready to go to Victoria's Secret because my sister put me on, um, they having a sale, $14.99 for bras, Victoria's Secret. But by the time y'all see this video, it's probably going to be over. So with that being said, I'm going to go to the mall and see what bras they got for $14.99. Um, but that hat, I wasn't feeling. Oh no! Should I do my little bucket? I've been rocking the bucket. Hold on. I've been rocking the bucket. I think the bucket looks like a little cuter on me. What y'all think? The bucket? Bucket or other one? <laughs> Obviously, y'all ain't gonna be able to say, but okay, bucket, because the bucket goes cute with the, the cargos. Let me see chips that I bought at the Asian market. Fried crab, ew. <laughs> so the the bucket goes with the pants. So yeah, that's cute. Period. Period. Okay. Yeah. Um. 
I'll see y'all at in the car. Yeah. Hopefully the mall ain't busy. Yeah, I love me some you I love me some Eugene. Oh my god. Hopefully the mall is not busy, y'all. We pulled up. Like I was telling you, we supposed to be going. We going to Victoria's Secret. They having some fourteen ninety nine sale. But I hope the mall is not busy because I don't got time. I'm not in the mood to be around a bunch of people. But we gonna see. And hopefully the bras is not all crazy and scattered and taken all over. Your she, size won't be. She bumping her techno. Your size bra won't be taken. <laughs> Don't play. Niggas who wear triple D's ain't gonna be up in there. <laughs> I know that's kind of. I think, but I think that's just like in a Victoria's Secret bra. Maybe in a different brand bra, you probably just a D. Because it doesn't look like your boobs are triple D. Yeah, it don't look like it. But what is yours? I'm like a. I want to go to Home Goods to see what kind of mirrors they have, but I'm definitely not going today because I'm not in the people's mood today. I'm in a. I want to just leave me alone mood today. I thought I was in the people's mood today. I thought I, I went to the grocery store and there was so many people at the grocery store and I was like, let me hurry up and get home because if you be thinking you want to go out and then when you see all those people, you be like, oh, I gotta get home. And right. So that's how I'm feeling. We have made it to the mall. Um, if Nevaeh was here, I could have got her a bra too. I don't even know what size she really wear. I don't even know what size I really wear, but the Victoria's Secret bra, bra that I have already, it said I was a triple D. Child, that's the triples and the triples. So we gonna see what they talking about. Um... And we're going to see if they got the $14.99 ones because I only want it if it's $14.99. I don't want it if it's $23.99 because I've seen on the website they have some $23.99. I don't want it. I want $14.99. Okay, that's it. And that's all. So I'm walking in the mall now, y'all. I'm going to catch y'all when I get in there because y'all know people be staring. Yeah. Okay, also the way the sale is working is the the twenty the thirty dollar bras are fourteen ninety nine, but if you're getting a bra for fifty dollars, it's not going to be fourteen ninety nine. The fifty dollar bras are twenty two dollars, which I guess isn't bad, but if you want to pay the fourteen ninety nine, so maybe I could look for the the twenty. Four dollar bras. Do they even have twenty four dollar bras? Make me swim. Make me holler. Make me lose my breath. Make me water. Make me swim. Make me holler. Make me lose my breath. Make me water. Oh my lips. Could keep my cool, but tonight I'm wine. I'ma be in that dangerous mood. Can you match my time? Telling me now, for some reason, I have a taste for um Popeyes. <laughs> 
chicken. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get Popeyes. I was gonna go to, it's dark out. I was gonna go to the mall and get something to eat, but I don't know, it's busy. And like I said, I don't feel like being around people. But, and it was super, super busy in there. Like, extremely busy in there. And the line was long. I don't know if y'all seen the line, but I was waiting in line for a little minute. So, I kind of just want to grab some to-go food and go home. That's the mood that I'm feeling. So, yeah. But the bra ended up coming out to $21, y'all. So, it's not bad. Oh, I thought that was my car open. Where's my car? Oh, well, maybe it's further down. Why nobody didn't tell me they got wings? I'm about to be a fat ass. Like, I'm trying to see the menu, but it's hard. All right, have y'all tried? Have y'all tried the wings they have here? I didn't even know they had wings here. Can I do the three piece combo? The chicken, two legs, and a thigh? You said two legs and a thigh? Yes. Do you want that mild or spicy? Mild. Mild or spicy? Mild. Um, is it one or two sides? The red beans and rice? Red beans and rice, and then for the drink. Do y'all have the mango lemonade iced? Chilled mango lemonade. All right, anything else? Which ones are the popular with the wings? Can you say that again? Which wings are popular? Can I get a side order of mac and cheese, a small one? Okay, y'all, I was going to be a fat ass and grab the wings because I've never tried their wings before, but um, I figured I wasn't going to be a fat ass. I was like, I'll try the wings next time. My meal already came up to $20, and it was just me for $20, 20 some dollars. So I'm like, let's just chill, okay? We'll try the wings next time. Let me know if y'all have tried those wings before. I've never tried them. But they, they look like they're good. He said everybody, it's like nothing in particular that everybody buys. But, um, yeah, let me know if y'all have tried those wings before. Because I definitely want to try them. But I mainly came here for just the original chicken. So, you know, and I really didn't eat that. I have mac and cheese at home. I really don't need the mac and cheese, child. I should have got something else. I got red beans and rice. Anyways, y'all. Um, I'm going home after this. I don't know if I'm going to end the vlog today or tomorrow. i kind of been like in the mood today. Like in the mood of... I'm, I'm, I'm in the mood of like I'm, I'm wanting to be in my, alone in my own thoughts. I don't know. All these niggas I was talking to... I'm over, I'm over, I'm over, I'm just over the whole dating thing. It's getting annoying. I feel like I want to take a break. Um, you know, just a lot in my mind. 2024, um, I have such a big vision in my head. And, you know, today I just took some time to write down the things that I have in my mind and pray over them. Because one thing I'm going to do is pray over the thoughts in the the thoughts in my mind and I'm going to pray for clarity and I'm going to pray for the guidance to do what I need to do to get to where I need to be because a lot of the times we say we want to be here but we don't have the tools and we don't have the ideas and we don't have a lot of things to get there to get where we want to be so I always pray over the ideas and the tools and the things that I have to give me clarity to get me to where I want to be you know so that's some of the things, so that's something I was doing today. I'd be rude if I said I don't want the mac and cheese. I mean, it already comes pre-packaged, so I don't think it'll matter. I kind of want something else. I don't want mac and cheese. Because I have mac and cheese at home and we just had that for um, Christmas. But yeah, that's what I was just doing today. I don't know if, like I said, I don't know if I'm in the vlog today or tomorrow. I'm thinking tomorrow. 
did y'all listen to the Nicki Minaj album? What do y'all think about the Nicki Minaj album? Okay, so, so far, for me, I like a couple songs. Like, I feel like I have to go back and listen to it. Now, there's some albums you can listen to on the first try, and you would be like, ooh, that's it, that's it, that's it. Like, I feel like Drake was that album, the last one. What's, or be and Beyonce. Beyonce's album was an album you can just off the rip and be like, oh, that's an album, right? Um, I think Drake's album for all the dogs was one of those albums. The Nicki Minaj album, I was listening to it and I'm like, okay, I like a couple songs, but it's not like something I would gravitate towards. So maybe I have to listen to it over. Because one thing about me, I like Nicki. I love Nicki. She's one of my best female rap artists. I like her. I like Meg The Stallion. Cardi B some, got some good songs, but Nicki is my favorite. So maybe I just got to go back and listen to it again. But I did like a couple songs, like the ones that's popular um, on TikTok and stuff. Okay, I'm thinking of asking them to take off the mac and cheese. I don't need the mac and cheese. I don't need it. But I don't know why I'm feeling guilty of asking them to take it off. Because I really, I want it, but then I don't want it. And then I don't need it. Yeah, I'm going to tell them to take it off. I'm going to tell them. I mean, I don't know why I'm feeling guilty. I actually changed my mind on the, on the mac and cheese. Mac and cheese? Can I take it off? Yeah. Okay. He was nice about it. Thank you. Mango lemonade. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He was nice about it, y'all. <laughs> Customer service goes a long way. Like, if you nice to people, it really make a difference like always be nice okay. and then can i do the honey and um hot sauce you told me to remind you yeah have a good day mm -hmm. you i, I want to eat right now but i gotta go mm, let me make sure mm. Ooh, it's excited what in the world if you don't move I got I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Ooh, I do not want to go out that way because that way is going to be the traffic one that way. It, it might be a little hectic. All right, I'll go this way. But yeah, like I was saying, it's, it's really like being nice goes a long way. And I feel like Sometimes people take your kindness for weakness. And I feel like people do that with me all the time. And. And I feel like. I feel like niggas do that all the time. And then when you snap on niggas. Like you be so nice. And they do some shit. And you snap on them. And then they be like. Oh you a mad black woman. I don't understand why you acting like that. I, I swear to God y'all. This last nigga I was dealing with literally never took no accountability for nothing like he never took no accountability like we would get into it over some shit and he hold on ooh, 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 ooh. red light red light ooh ooh okay like we would get into it some, he would do some shit y'all right he would do some shit and then when I react to it he will be like, I don't understand. Why are you doing that? I don't know what's going on. Why are you acting like that? Mad black woman, blah, 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 blah. And it's just like, why don't niggas never take accountability for what they do? Why you just don't say, I apologize. I'm sorry. What can I do to make it better? I don't be understanding these niggas. And it be a lot of niggas that do that. They do not take accountability. Like I was talking to this one nigga. He was like, um, he was asking me like, when are you available? I was like, I'm available weekends. And then he was like, um, what, let's do something. I'm like, okay, well, when you plan something for us to do, when you plan a date, then we'll do something. And he's like, oh, I like to be spontaneous. And then he's going to say, let's go to Starbucks. I was like, Starbucks is not spontaneous, nigga. What are you talking about? And I was like, just say you don't want to spend no money. You don't want to pay for a date. Like we too old for that. And he gonna say, oh, well, um, you know, nowadays, girls, uh, you take them on a date, you spending all this money and you don't even get nothing out of it. I said, so just say that. Like, you want to take me to, you want to, you want to take me to a fucking Starbucks because you want something out of it and you don't want to waste no money. Like, but I'm not the one, boo. 
I'm not the one or the motherfucking two. So by, I, 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 I'll find the next nigga that want to take me out on a date and spend some money and not be like, oh, I don't want to spend no money because I don't ever get nothing out of it and I'm tired of going on dates and wasting my money, which is understandable. But if you're going to date, you need to have money to date, bro. Like, you need money to date. If you're going to be pursuing a woman, you need money to pursue a woman. It's just simple. And I feel like a lot of niggas, they don't be taking accountability. They just don't, they just, it's so weird, you know, and it's, and, and this dating could get so discouraging and it's just so annoying. All right, y'all. We are home. Oh, I need to put this battery on my storage. I'm so ready to eat. I'm so ready to eat. Let's see if Popeye's going to work today. Mm-hmm. We got the red beans and rice. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Did they want to work today? Y'all watch Jay Nice on TikTok. She be killing me. I like her. Let's see. Mm-hmm. They want to work. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Be right, be. But she be like, be right, be. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And she likes spice. She be spicing her shit up. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I spilled a little bit on my table. Mm-hmm. Mm. I said two legs. They fucking annoying. Mm. Mm. Two legs and a thigh. They gave me two fucking thighs. They ain't gonna work today. I don't want you to check my food. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. I'm mad. Okay. I thought they motherfucking there. Two legs. Yeah. When I tell you that meal was a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 10 out of 10. And I want more. <laughs> I want more. But yeah, that chicken was good. If you want to go to Popeye's, this your sign to go to Popeye's. Anyways, we're home now. And we are about to try this bra Um, So the bra that y'all seen me try on did not fit. So I went back to the drawing board and I got a different one. All right, here's this one. Now, I think it fits me. I definitely have to adjust the straps because it's like really loose. So I think it fits me because, but I think I'm gonna keep it for $21. And y'all know these Victoria's Secret bras are expensive as AF. So um, for it to be $21, that's a pretty good deal. Like I said, I don't know if the sale is gonna still be going on when y'all get this video. But, I don't know. Anyways, y'all, I think I'm going to end the vlog. I said I was going to end the vlog probably tomorrow, but I'm in the vlog today. Um, so I can start new, start fresh. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this vlog, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram for behind the scenes, for when I'm not on YouTube. Um, and pictures of me, of course. And, um, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe because we are on a road to 500 subscribers. I always tell y'all I cannot do it without you, okay? I cannot do it without you. So, subscribe if you watch me more than once, more than twice, more than three times. Or even if you, you think you like my vibe, just subscribe, okay? Um, I love y'all. Stay safe. If you're going out for the New Year's, uh, stay safe. And I'll talk to you guys all in my next video.